close former number one recruit Byron Cowher talks to the media for the first time since enrolling at Auburn. Matthew Stevenson, according to multiple reports, Byron Cowher has left the Auburn football program after requesting a transfer release from his scholarship. Former ESPN recruiting analyst Eric Tyson was the first to report this news Tuesday morning, and 247sports.com has confirmed Cowart has received his transfer release from the Auburn coaching staff. Auburn head coach Gus Malzahn confirmed the news Tuesday morning in his weekly news conference. Byron Cowart has come to me numerous times over the last month with concerns about playing time and has decided to quit the football team to pursue other opportunities, Malzahn said. The junior defensive lineman was a former five-star prospect in the 2015 recruiting class and was the nation's top-ranked recruit by ESPN.com and Rivals.com, but never earned a start in his 26 career games at Auburn. Starting this spring, Cowart was moved from defensive end to defensive tackle and was garnering playing time with the Secontium defensive line unit in the first three games of the season behind Dontavious Russell, Derek Brown and Andrew Williams at the defensive tackle depth chart. Cowart had three total tackles and 12 tackles for loss through three games this season. He just seems more comfortable, Auburn defensive coordinator Kevin Steele said on April 5 about Cowart's move to defensive tackle. He gives us a pass rush in there too, and more than just push the pocket. He is a pass rusher in there as a three technique because he has a skill set to do that and he's gotten really good at it. Rodney's garnered done a great job with him of the little things in the rundowns of pad leverage, using his hands and dominating blocks and tearing off of blocks and getting better. Photo Philoburn brought in one of the nation's best defensive line classes in the 2015 and 2016 signing groups and Cowart wasn't only part of those classes, but was expected to already make an impact by this time in his college career. For my own expectations it wasn't what I thought I was going to do, Cowart said in April 2016 about his freshman season at Auburn. It comes with the territory. Some guys peak different than other guys, I'm just trying to get to my peak. More Auburn depth chart time for Cowart to show up while working mostly was second and third-string defensive line units last season Cowart had just six tackles, won 12 tackles for loss in 10 games before an emergency appendectomy procedure ended his 2016 season in November. It was hard in the beginning, but I came in to learn anyways, Cowart said. I didn't come in to boast and brag I'm going to this, I'm going to do that. I just came in to learn. It was hard, it was an adjustment but I learned everybody at this level is good, so you got to bring your A-game every day. More Auburn teammates selling hard on Byron Cowart's resurgence. Cowart was among four players including Carlton Davis, Ryan Davis and Jeremiah Dinson who were arrested after a traffic spot for marijuana possession on April 30, 2016. However, none of the four players missed any playing time due to the violation. While a star at Armwood High School, the Sefner, Florida, native garnered national recruiting hype, while being named of Under Armour All-America selection and a first Yamalusa selection by USA Today, after leading the Armwood to the state championship game in his final two high school seasons and leaving his prep career with 185 career tackles and 29 sacks.